Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon, has vanished. This unsettling news spread rapidly through the scientific community, reaching from the bustling cities of Earth to the remote research outposts on the distant moon of Titan. Astronomers and physicists, gripped by unease, analyzed the data. Ganymede wasn't merely hidden or obscured. Its gravitational pull, which once sculpted the orbits of nearby moons, was gone. Swaths of celestial objects now unmoored drifted out of their predictable paths, creating chaos in a once orderly system. The team of researchers stationed on Ganymede had been preparing for an expedition, days away from delving into the moon's vast subsurface oceans. The sudden silence that followed their last transmission spoke volumes. Frantic attempts to establish contact yielded nothing but the empty hum of the cosmos. As weeks turned into months, an oppressive sense of dread began to blanket humanity. People spoke in hushed whispers of the vanished moon and the researchers who had disappeared with it. How could a moon, a whole moon, simply vanish? As days turned into weeks, a lone astronomer toiled late into the night, sifting through data and searching the heavens for clues. But clues were not to be found, only more questions. He noticed that some stars, long fixtures of the night sky, had also vanished. First Ganymede, now stars? How could light from these stars, hundreds of light years away, vanish at the same time as Ganymede? Did the stars vanish recently, or did they vanish hundreds of years ago, and the absence of their light is only reaching us now? The realization that the cosmic horror extended far beyond the missing moon of Ganymede settled like an oppressive weight on the scientist's mind. As he gazed into the endless expanse of the universe, he could not shake the feeling that the vanishing of celestial bodies was only the beginning of something much more terrifying and incomprehensible. Is Earth next? 